Hi and welcome to part 15 of Heavy Rain. So yeah, last time he snoop, uh, snooped around and trying to prove that Ethan was innocent. So yeah, we are apparently going to break him out. So yeah, how do we do that? That's interesting actually. So where is the integration in that room he was in? Was it here? No, that's the restrooms. So where is that room? I can't find it all of a sudden. I went straight. Wasn't it over here somewhere? Yes, it was, wasn't it? Who's this? Oh, here, maybe. Yeah, here it is. So. Let's see if we can break him out already. So, what do we need for it? How do we get in there? That's a problem, isn't it? Is what is this? They have a back way? This is bad. Leave us alone. I, uh, Lieutenant Blake said to... Please, leave us alone. Right, uh, I'll be at the door if you need anything. Christ, are you all right, Ethan? Get out of here. I've got to save my son. Let's see what I can do. <coughs> yeah. Let's get out of here. Let's find something to break him out with. Can we get something to break him out of it? No, yes, maybe. Kind of, or what? We got nothing. 
This is bad. This is really bad. We got nothing. Gotta find some way to get rid of the guard if I want to free Mars. Uh, First, get rid of the cops. How? How am I supposed to get rid of the cops? Should be able to get him out of here without being noticed. How do I get rid of the cops? That's my big concern. There should be officers' raincoats all over the place. Gotta find one and give it to Mars. There's no raincoats at all. And there's like nothing I can give First, to him. Get rid of the cops. But I got no key. This is hard. Let's think a little. There he is. What the heck is this? Doesn't anyone have keys on that? Apparently not. These camera angles are killing me. There's really nothing I can do. I find some way to get him through the police station undetected. Doesn't anyone have cuff keys? Please. I'm giving up soon. Shit! What am I doing? Helping a suspect to escape? That'll cost me my badge and earn me a 10 year stretch. This is confusing. So... No? Gary, you can take a break. I'll keep an eye on him. You sure? Actually, I was busting for a piss. If you need to adjust his handcuffs, the keys are on my desk. Oh, thank you, sir. That was nice. I did it the wrong way last time, apparently. Which one is your desk, mister? Which one is your desk? Uh huh. Now we are going somewhere finally. Uh, just walking here, nothing suspicious at all. 
Do, 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 do. Don't mind me. Have we put off the camera? Yeah, let's do this quickly. So he doesn't come back. Is the camera on or off? I guess it's off then, I hope so. Or I will be so screwed. Nothing to see here. That's help you. That's it. You're free. Yeah, run. Like the wind. Here, put this on. Soro. They're having a break. If you're quick, you'll be able to slip out without being noticed. Head straight to the exit. Don't stop, don't talk, don't even Let's think. just, just walk. Let's just hope that I, I don't want to say it. Just say you're gonna save your son. I don't know if I'm will be able to take that pressure. To do that by myself walk out there. Let's hope the computer works for me. He walked straight past him. Okay. So now we're free, apparently. Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. What? A police manhunt is now underway, and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. Has he ever shot at the police or anything? That's just weird. I brought some food. I didn't know what you like, so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Yeah, or you follow? That's a good question. I wanted to know. You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? No. You see? I... I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? That sounds suspicious. Why are you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. No. I don't know if I'd love my son enough to save him. I don't think so. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go. You really I believe that, don't you? Save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. She doesn't think it's you. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. 
You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice. I'm really worried for the next trial. Please, Madison. No, don't leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. Yes, it is. If you want to help me. Don't be like this. Leave. Leave me to do this on my own. This is really bad. So what's now? The box. I have to open another origami figure. I'll find you, Sean. I swear I'll find you. Oh, I'm so worried for this. Oh, this, this is really bad. So who do we have to shoot? That's the question. But I guess we will see that in, a, in another part because I'm running out this part right here, right now. So yeah, that was part 15. If you like this video, please leave a like and consider subscribing for more daily videos like this. And I will be back tomorrow with another part of my let's play of Heavy Rain. Bye.